Um, hey guys, uh, we're looking at some uh, Kawasaki carburetors today, and I've got a carburetor here from a 23 horsepower, and I've got a carburetor here from a 25 horsepower Kawasaki. They are the exact same carburetor, and I just want to show share with you guys how you can make your 23 horsepower uh, engine a 25 horsepower engine with just some very basic modifications. Um, first of all here this is on a John Deere 737 uh, Z-Track mower and uh, the, the thing that you're gonna have to modify here is the throttle stop that's right here those are your throttle butterflies right there you can see I'm working with that and uh, you'll notice on this particular engine the 23 horsepower that whenever you're at full throttle you see it's hitting on the stop right there that your throttle butterflies are only about two-thirds of the way open or so they're not all the way open so uh, the way that they restrict horsepower is by restricting airflow um, this is a 25 horse carburetor just have it sitting around here for spare parts and uh, you can see on it that the throttle shaft is just a little bit different but at full throttle the butterflies are all the way open uh, parallel with the intake there um, so what we're gonna do there's a couple different ways you can go about this the first thing you can do is swap this throttle shaft with this throttle shaft and it would let it move all the way uh, open at full throttle but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do it for free we're gonna take a Dremel and we're gonna do a little bit of clearancing work and grind back this throttle stop on this throttle shaft we're going to grind this back just enough to where that opens all the way so let me get my dremel ready here okay got my dremel out here um, i've got a flex cable tool on my dremel here and uh just going to show you where i'm going to start taking material off uh, if you look real carefully you can kind of see where i started there i'm using a uh, carbide cutter you could use a grinder you could use just about anything but you just need to remove material from your throttle shaft to allow it to move farther until it stops so I'm gonna give you a few more progress pictures here as I make some progress okay I've been working on it a couple minutes here just made a few passes with the Dremel and you can see the material that I'm starting to take off and starting to get a little bit more movement in that and uh, we'll just keep whittling on this just a little bit more just make sure you don't want to get any metal shavings in your work there so check back I've been chopping out a couple more minutes here and you can see the progress I made um, just getting a little bit closer to having those parallel they open quite a bit more now we're still not quite to where we want to be so uh, I'm gonna just hit it a few more times here Okay, we got our final product right here. Um, just gonna let you see how big of a notch we took out. Okay, we've got our final product here. Uh, just so you can get an idea how much material we took off right there. You can kind of see where it used to go. And you can also see the position of the butterflies right now is parallel. They used to be sitting about like that. Now they're about like that. This will make a noticeable difference. And uh, all we need to do right now is assemble everything, put it all back together, and uh, see how it works out. So, now one thing else you guys need to be aware of is you can tr you can switch your, your carburetor over to a 25 horse carburetor just fine. Uh, what you also need to do though to make it a true 25 horsepower capable engine of making the you know of keeping that power for a long time is to put an oil cooler on. Uh, there's three parts. There's an O-ring, what they call the pipe or a standpipe and uh, then the cooler itself and you can reuse your same oil filter um, but you should go ahead and upgrade everything to the uh, 25 horsepower oil cooler as well so good luck easy modification gets you two horsepower uh, hope it helps you somehow thanks bye